Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Lynn Wilson and I'm glad you're joining me tonight. Hope you had a great week and I hope you had a great day. And uh, I will remind you if I don't post for a few days, there's usually a reason. Um, I try and post, I don't post every day, but I try and do a couple a week, three or four a week. And um, if I don't post, go to the community page. That's really the only way I don't have you guys, I don't have your phone number. I can't text you and say, hey, what's happening? So I go to the community page and that's my way of texting you in a, in a sense to let you know what's been happening in my world. It's been a bit of a crazy week. Um, not looking to be, you know, bring bad news or anything like that. Just giving you the highlights and uh, we made it. It's through, it's Friday. I worked an 11 and a half hour day today and it was a long day, and then I came home and had a bowl of cereal for dinner, and I said to my husband, I've got to go to Dollar Tree. I haven't been to Dollar Tree in forever. I need some stocking stuffers, and we have a new Dollar General. I need to hit that. So we did some, for me, late night shopping. I don't usually like to shop this time at night. I'm usually tired and cranky, but we went. I wanna be done shopping for Christmas by Sunday. All gifts wrapped in the stockings under the tree, that's it. Clean the house. And um, yeah, we have some day trips coming up in the next few days for some holiday festivities, which is good. But my week consisted of not having heat and hot water. It also consisted of putting up the tree and trying to put some decorations in this house. We did not do what we normally do. I just couldn't get it together this year. Too much going on. Um, having to take my mom out shopping, make sure she's taken care of her groceries and she's got to get her Christmas shopping done. And then grandma's had a horrible week of seizures. It was just one of those, ugh, not good. So, um, yeah, so we had a lot of that. So he's my cameraman. I tried to record last night and he was prepping something and next thing you know, he was seizuring one after the other. So it makes it a little difficult some nights for me to do things, but again, can't text you guys, can't call you on the phone, can't shoot you an email, but I can put notes on the community page. Some of you found me there. I saw my phone blinging with comments. I gotta get back to the comments. I'm behind on that. Please forgive me. Oh yeah. Okay, we are, are we rolling? We are rolling. I'm looking at the numbers. Okay, for some reason, didn't think it was recording. What else can I tell you? I don't know, no hot water, no heat, seizures, worked lots of hours this week. What else happened? Oh, Graham, I took him to the hospital. No, not in the hospital, but he had to go get a scan for his DVT, which he still has, which I'm not surprised at. I don't know a whole lot. This is a new experience of DVT, but everything I've read, it does take quite a while. And um, I figured this, he was in the hospital where he got the ultrasound for his leg. The last time that happened, they kept him at the hospital. So I figured if they didn't admit him and the doctor didn't call immediately, not that it's not bad, but it can't be that bad. We have a follow-up this coming Wednesday. We will go find out what we need to do and we'll just commit it to the Lord. We're gonna pray about it. That's all I can do. I did really well this week. I was like, I, I could do this. It was okay. Seizures and all. I, I could do this. And then last night, the types of seizures that Graham had just knocked the wind out of my sails and it wasn't good. I went to work. I was grumpy today. It was just not good. And I said, you know what? Forget the grumpies. Just dive into work. Do what you have to do. Keep your hands busy. Keeps your mind busy and you'll get through it. So if you're all going through something and you know, I always like to listen to how do other people get through their life? How do they get through stuff? And one of my coworkers said, how you doing? And he knew what was going on. And I said, I'm doing fine. And I smiled. I said, see, I'm doing just fine. Because sometimes it's not worth telling people your business because then they tell you all the advice in the world. But I can tell you this, for me, Sometimes I just have to sit and be quiet. And there's a Bible verse that says, be still and know that I am God. And for me, with my faith, sometimes I just need to sit and shut my own mouth and be still and let him be God. Let him do what he needs to do and all that. Other times, like today, 
I knew I could not just sit. I needed to be busy. So thank the Lord. I have a job. I went to work. I had a lot of work to do because I have a couple days off. And in doing all that work, I was going, going, going. And it, I got through it. It kind of cleared the cobwebs in my brain. And um, yeah, that's, just, that's about where we're at. So I got some stocking stuffers that I wanted to show you and some extra little gifty things that I picked up. We really went a lot simpler this year. Um, the funny thing is we are decluttering in different areas of our house, reorganizing because our life has drastically changed in the last year in what we do and how we do it. So we were kind of laughing like, well, we don't want to buy a bunch of Christmas stuff and then say we're decluttering and you know, you know how that goes. So we really went very practical, my kind of Christmas, in what kind of things can I get you that you will use in the next year, not just a gift because it's cute. Does that make sense? So even my stocking stuffers are like that. So let me, let me show you what I got at Dollar General first. I'll tell you who they're for. Some of these, I think Dollar General was more gifts than stocking stuffers. And I have two things I want to show you that have nothing to do with anything we're talking about, but I just thought they'd be a nice tip for you. So I have a coworker who loves the Minions. So I got a soap dispenser uh, with the Minions that was $3. That was a Dollar General. And I thought it was pretty nice for, you know, three bucks. And like I said, she loves the Minions. I love the Minions. How can you not like a Minion? They're so cute. So I'm going to give her that, and I have a really large plate that has some snowmen on it. She loves snowmen, so I'm going to give her that as well. And I found this for her also. All I want for Christmas is another cookie. Wood spoon, with that on there, that was $1. It's a bamboo spoon, it was $1. Nice red handle. And I like the handle because like for mixing, it's got a smooth texture to it. Practical practical and the plate I don't know where it is to show you but that wasn't I already had that I already bought that and what was the other thing I got her um this co-worker and I do exchange a little bit you know more than a you know we do a, a little bit nicer kind of package than just something small but I saw this I wish you could feel it remember my pink fuzzy slippers that um Laureen got me so this feels like the pink fuzzy slippers. It's a mauve color. It was $8 and it is just absolutely plush. So I'm gonna give her that with the soap and the spoon and the plate, we're gonna be good to go. And then along with that, like I mentioned, she likes snowmen and I thought these guys were just adorable. They're little uh, marshmallow snowmen. So I got that and of course got some tissue paper there. That was a dollar. So that's for one person that I work with. So they're not stocking stuffers. That were some of the gift things that I picked up. And then I picked up this at the um, Dollar General. I got this for my son. Sorry, there's a little bit of a glare on there. This was a dollar shower cap. I guess that's a shower cap. It says plastic conditioning. Oh, it's 10 of them in there. Oh my, maybe it's not a shower cap. Plastic conditioning caps. I didn't realize, well, but you know what? They're probably good enough for going in the shower. My son resembles this woman. If you've not met my youngest son, he's my adopted son. So they can't, he can't always get his hair wet and doesn't like to get it wet. I don't, my hair is just different. I don't, I don't know that type of hair. Didn't grow up on it. So I'm having to learn. And um, so a shower cap, I was told would be a good thing so that when he goes in the shower, he doesn't always have to get his hair wet. I picked up, I had a hard time finding mini marshmallows. Let me do this size better. The mini ones, the tiny, tiny little ones. So I have a DIY. It'll probably be going up on Sunday. And I have, it's just two simple gifts that you can make that are inexpensive, that are very creative. Something, you know, you just want something a little different. Well, I've got two DIYs, whether it's a Christmas present, a birthday present, an anytime type of present, a housewarming, or you're going to someone's house, you need a hostess gift. So the mini marshmallows are part of the gift. 
So you have to come back. It, it'll either go up on Sunday or Monday of this up and coming week. So check that out. Okay. This is not a Christmas. Well, yes, this is a Merry Christmas to Lynn. I had to get this. You can't really tell tonight. End of the day, I don't really have much lipstick on. But I, there's a joke at work about me and my lipstick. I, I like lipstick. My mom always wore lipstick. I like it. I like my lips to be bright. I just, I don't feel dressed without lipstick. But when I go to work, my lipstick's on. And then usually about mid-morning, got to do a little touch-up. But definitely about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, you got to do a touch-up. So I found this for myself. Check this out. Coffee, coffee, lipstick, coffee. The inside's red. It was $3. I, oh, it's a very, the only thing I don't like, it's very, very, very heavy. So if you put coffee in it. But I had to get that. So I think I'm going to bring this to work. But that's a Lynn. So that was a Lynn gift. What else do I have? Okay. Oh, this was to go with my, my friend's gift that I had that with a blanket. I thought I would just add a box of chocolates to it as well. So she's all done. She was one of the last ones that I had to find something for. I wanted to show you this. Nothing to do with Christmas. Cold and allergy pills. These are by Dollar General. They're $3.50 a box, and you get 48 of them in here. <clears throat> you can probably hear the graspiness in my voice. My allergies this time of year definitely get me. I can feel the wheezing, and I can feel it in the throat. <clears throat> and it'll start middle of October, end of October, and for me, go to like the end of February. It's a different allergy. My son and I are the same. Drives me crazy. I've tried all different allergy medicines. I do use some natural things, but sometimes you just need something a little bit more powerful. It's cheap. It's You take one pill every four hours. I don't do well on 24-hour meds. This one is every four hours. I take one of these in the morning and I'm good all the way till after dinner. And if I'm supposed to do it every four hours. It lasts me all day. Usually by now my throat's graspy. I'm also very tired. <clears throat> so it sounds like this, but once in a while I take one at bedtime. Very rarely, honestly, every four hours, I only need one pill for four, not for 24 hours. So if you're looking for it, it says cold and allergy. I take them for allergies. I don't know if you're, you know, sometimes you can't find what you're looking for. I think these are great. I love them. Okay. So that was Dollar General. Let's see. What did I get from Dollar Tree? All right. So I picked up, I'll show you the boring stuff, you know, gift bags. I... We were trying to do more wrapping. I have some, you can see I got this nice, maybe you can't see it. I got this nice plaid. Check that out, like a Scottish tartan. I got that one. I got brown wrapping paper, like um, just the, uh, what do you call it? Like brown paper bag paper. And then I got wrapping paper with the red trucks on it, which is great. But sometimes by the time you wrap certain things, you're like, give me a gift bag. So I picked up some just to have on hand. This is fa la 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 on one side and Christmas trees on the other. And you got two, and they were a two for a dollar. This one says Merry Christmas, a brown paper bag. I like this one. And then the other side is poinsettias. I like those. And then this, this says, tis the season for fun and festivities. And it's a blue bag. Oop, there you go. And you got two of the same there, and then I got two packs of just red foil. Just to have extras, I figured, too, I like to get sometimes the solid ones like this. Christmas, or if you use it for birthdays or Valentine's Day. Like, this could be really any time of the year. You know, you could just change the color of the tissue paper, put some party fun stuff in there for a birthday, and you're fine. Okay, so then I picked up this. And this is a set I had shown you on a previous video. I did get the, the little skirt. Let's see if you can see it on there. It's, let's see. That lighting is messing me up. I did pick up the skirt, like the little tutu, the boa, and I got the crown. And I was looking for the face mask. So there we go. So it's a whole set. And it just has an elastic band that goes around the back. 
from my little baby cousin. Well, not she's not baby, but um, my young cousin. She is special needs, so getting stuff her age is difficult. But I thought a dress up might be kind of good, so I needed that to finish that off. Picked up these individually. There are six in each bag. Three Musketeers and Milky Way. I will break those up and put those in my kids' stockings and my husband. And then I picked up this. I picked up some expensive, very expensive. When we were on vacation in Pennsylvania visiting my sister, I picked up some beard stuff. I have a beard, so I don't know how all that beard oil and all that kind of stuff work, works, but my husband really likes it. So we went to a like a specialty shop and they had it. So I got a nice one for him. And I also ordered a beard and mustache kit. I'm keeping my voice down because I don't know if he can hear me. So I got that on Amazon, but they had Power Stick, which is a brand name, beard oil. And that was at the Dollar Tree. So I throw it in a stock. We'll see what it's like. And then my son enjoys writing down like notes or music kind of just in his own way journaling my youngest son is special needs and uh one of the things he has he has autism so anytime he wants to write or to do any kind of journaling i'm like yeah so he asked for a notebook and i had a spiral bound notebook well he filled it and he said mom i need another notebook well i had an extra one at work someone gave me and i haven't been using so i gave him that so i thought for christmas as part of his gift, I'm going to give him some notebooks. His favorite color is red. And this is a smaller, this is one subject, 100 sheets by Jot. And it's just the smaller size. This would be like a, uh, almost like an A5 size half sheet paper with lines. So I got him that. And then I found this one. And it's kind of red, orange, and it's got dinosaurs and he loves dinosaurs. This is 50 sheets and it's just the same thing with the, whoop, with the lined paper but I thought that was really cute put that aside for him I got all kinds of goodies here let's see so I picked these up and I'm going to put a couple in my um, husband's and my older two kids and I love these antibacterial wipes but what I like about them is they're individually wrapped so you can just, you know, like how many times you don't always want to have to carry a big bottle of hand sanitizer, even the little mini ones, they're kind of bulky. And, you know, some of the wipes that come in the packages are too big. I carry these in my wallet. So if you saw what's in my wallet video, if you didn't see my video, it's a Lug, L-U-G wallet. And many of you have asked me for the link to purchase that wallet. I just picked up a new one. I have to show you my new one. I kind of graduated to a bigger size for times where I need to go out and carry a few more things. But I carry these right in my wallet. I usually carry two or three. So I always have a wipe. You know, you touch handle on the cart, your hands get sticky, you're at a restaurant, whatever. So I'll throw a bunch of those. You get 15 in there. So they'll each get five. And I picked up two boxes, one to put in the stockings and one for me to keep for my stash. And my Dollar Tree right now is still a dollar. There's no signage or anything to say a dollar twenty-five. I didn't even ask. I was like, I don't believe in jinxing things, but I, in a sense, I didn't want to jinx it by saying, do you know when you guys are going to a dollar twenty-five? I figured, you know what? I'm there tonight. It was a dollar. Enjoy the moment. So I did. So I picked up two of these. I don't know where the other one is. The multi-purpose auto cleaner. So I got one for my older son and one for my husband. Great stocking stuffer for a guy, right? Then I picked up um, these mints. And this is by Coastal Bay. These mints are great. If you like Lifesaver mints, you're going to love these. They're individually wrapped. I don't know if it says how many come in there. But it's five point. Seven five ounces. There's quite a bit. There's quite a bit. Oh, 60. It says on the back 60. So each of them will get a handful in their stocking as well. And then for my husband, my two boys, my two sons, I picked up Hershey Kisses. 
And then for my daughter-in-law, I thought it would be kind of fun to get the old-fashioned little balls that you can get, the foiled ones, and she can peel those. What else did we get here? So when I walked in the store, my two boys have always loved Batman, so I got a Batman Colgate toothpaste for my son, Gavin. And then for my husband, I picked up, <laughs> it's spackling. My father, I don't know if it was my just my dad's term or if other people call it smutch. And he would want to fix something on the wall. You know, you pull out a nail, it leaves a hole and you got to put the little spackle on. He said, go get me the smutch in, over in my shed. So they had a mini one for a dollar and we have just a small repair uh, on the wall we have to do in our bathroom. And so I picked up Smutch so he can work on that after Christmas. So even though it's a present for him, it's really for me so I can get the job done. So then I picked up for all three of my boys, from my husband, Graham, my son, Graham, and my son, Gavin, men's body wash, cedar wood, and eucalyptus. And we've gotten this before and they really like it. And the cedar wood is the one, there are two, but it has a nice fragrance to it and it's eucalyptus and it is 13.5 ounces for $1. And they have this and they have the shaving cream, shaving lotion and a body lotion. So if you're interested in going to get it, they had a nice set. And that's a good size bottle for $1. All right, what else do we have? So I got this to go with my, um, my little cousin's presents. Again, we got the tutu, the, oh, the wand, the tutu, the boa, the mask. And then I got these bracelets because I thought they were cute to go with it as well. And I think these are just some of the duplicates I was looking for. That's the shower gel. This is my last bag. Yep. So my oldest son is now a homeowner. And he's all grown up. So what do you get a grown up son who owns a home? A drop cloth. Again, I went practical. Practical. How many times you go to do something and you think, oh, I don't have a drop cloth. Or, you know, these things that you need. So I picked that up. Just like the stuff to clean the car. Practical. Things that it's great to get it as a gift, but you can use it up. You don't have to find, you know, tons of storage that like an extended period of time. Cocoa butter. I got my youngest son some cocoa butter chapstick. And I picked this up for both of my kids, for Graham and for Gavin. We have these and they're push lights, puck lights. These things are great. It says on here, super bright 80 lumens. This thing, if you need a good, like by your um, nightstand or in the bathroom and you come in at night and you turn it on, turn it off, you just have to get the batteries to put in it. They're bright, they're great, they're durable, they last. So I got one for my oldest son, figuring out his house he can use it or somewhere. And I got it for my younger son. I thought by his nightstand, he can, you know, you gotta get up in the middle of the night, you just tap it and you're good to go. For my husband and my son. So for the two grams, I got Goo Gone. Can never go wrong with that. Practical. And then for all three of the men in my life, Graham, Graham Mark, and Gavin, I got the um, face and body wipes. So I liked it that it was not just the face, it was the face and body cleaning wipes. So the boys all got that. Coming down to the wire here. Here was another one. This was coconut oil beard oil softens conditions and strengthens i don't know if it's any good it's dollar tree i don't know i don't know if that's a brand name i have no idea if anybody ever had purchased these i've never seen them before let me know if you've you know if you've used them or your spouse or your whoever has used them and you liked them or you didn't like them but we'll try them out my youngest son has a fetish with this black electrical tape, he uses it for different craft projects and whatnot. So got that for the stocking. And then I also picked him up, uh, no, I got this for my husband. Hydra Cream Face, Hands and Body Men's Care by Dove. So there you go. 
So that is some of the stocking stuffers that I picked up. What I need to do now is go fill the stockings so I can see what I have, what I still need. I think I had one or two other things floating around here and there. Pick up things all year, like I, I find little tidbits and then Christmas comes and I can't remember where I put it. So I'm gonna look that out, fill the stockings. Yeah, I think right now I'm gonna wrap some presents. I'm gonna get something to eat because I'm starving. And I think that's all I'm gonna do. So I hope you guys stick around. I'm gonna be there, hopefully get you a video tomorrow, I'm hoping. Um, and then get you that DIY. We're going to a light show tomorrow night. Actually, we're going to two light shows tomorrow night. And then we're gonna drive around some neighborhoods and in, in addition to go see houses with lights, we're going out to dinner with some friends. And then Sunday, my son is preaching. If anybody's interested in hearing my youngest son, he's a pastor, preach. He is on YouTube, you can check him out. His name is Graham Wilson from Well Spring Church. So feel free to check him out. If you want to hear some good preaching, check him out. He's fantastic. And many of you have been asking about my podcast. Separate from my YouTube channel, I do have a, I don't personally have a podcast, but I do a podcast through my job and it's called Hope for Today. It is faith-based. So just letting you know that up front, but I have been working on a series of understanding and enjoying Christmas traditions. What about the Christmas tree? What's the story behind it? What's the story behind the lights? What's the story behind the red and green colors that we wear? How about the Christmas wreath? Um, we did some things about the nativity. Um, I did one part, ah, you gotta check it out. It's about the story about three trees, but it talks about, do you matter? And yes, you do matter. And we did Christmas ornaments. We talked about the candy cane. So the stories behind it, what do they mean? What do they symbolize? If you want to check it out, you can go on YouTube as well. Probably for you all, that's the easiest. Go on YouTube and type in Hope for Today, Lynn Wilson. You'll see it. I've been doing it for two years now, once a week. So there's lots of topics to be covered, but the most recent was on the Christmas traditions. Thanks for sticking around with me. Thanks for coming over. Catch you guys on the next couple of days. I promise, I promise, I'm going to get some videos up there for you. Have a great day and an early Merry Christmas.